गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर ई लर्निंग सेशन कंप्यूटर लेक्चर आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू काइंडली रिमूव द कंप्यूटर वर्कबुक एंड अ पेंसिल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट द की बोर्ड आई एम श्योर बाई नाउ वी ऑल नो वॉट अ की बोर्ड इज एंड हाउ इट लुक्स वी ऑल हैव डन हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस ऑन द की बोर्ड ड्यूरिंग अ प्रैक्टिकल सेशंस सो लेट एस ट्राई टू लर्न मोर अबाउट द की बोर्ड द इनपुट डिवाइस की बोर्ड लेट्स ओपन चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मोर अबाउट द की बोर्ड ऑन पेज नंबर सेवेंटीन आई एम श्योर वी ऑल आर रेडी बाय नाउ let us begin chapter 3 more about the keyboard you have already learned about the keyboard as an input device there are several keys on a keyboard that allow you to insert text into a document all right to begin with we have already learned that keyboard is an input device it consists of several buttons which are known as keys which helps us to insert text into a document or characters a standard computer keyboard has 104 keys each having a specific function these keys are used to type letters numbers or other symbols while the data is often displayed on the computer screen the keys are also used to submit a command to the computer system So here it is mentioned that a standard keyboard has 104 keys. How many? 104 keys. This is just for your knowledge, students. The earlier keyboard had 84 keys. Okay, this is just for your knowledge. Now we use this keyboard or this keys. to enter data in the form of letters numbers or other symbols you have seen that right so let us learn more about the keyboard and its various keys so we will try to learn what are those several keys on the keyboard now before we continue further students i want you all to take a look at this picture the parts of the keyboard as you can see in the picture there are different sections and various other names given to it these are the several other keys or various keys on the keyboard which we will learn in detail one by one as per your portion or the chapter you see on the top the top left we have the first key which is escape followed by the function keys f1 f2 f3 then we have enter key then we have status light then we have numeric keypad arrow keys alt key is alt is also known as alt key and shift key control key tap key these are the keys on the keyboard let's try to learn the commonly used special keys commonly used special keys apart from alphabets and number keys the keyboard also contains certain special keys right so apart from the alphabet keys which consist of letters a to z and numbers from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 0 to 9 apart from these keys there are certain special keys the first key is 
the space bar key let's read what is the space bar key the space bar key is the longest key on the keyboard every keyboard has only one space bar key it is used to add a blank space between two letters words and numbers okay so a space bar key the longest key on the keyboard which you all have seen during our practicals so what that key is called the longest key on the keyboard is known as the space bar key remember this the longest key on the keyboard is known as the space bar key and there's only one space bar key on the keyboard and what is the use of that keyboard the space bar key it helps us to give a space between two characters or two letters or two words or numbers down below is an example it says in figure 3.1 the words environmental and pollution are separated by a space once you have entered the first word the space bar key allows you to insert a space before you can enter the next word right this is just explaining as an example which is a space between two words environmental and pollution now with this space students it becomes easier for us to read the particular text i'm sure it had these words been written down without the space it would be difficult to judge or identify what are the words written let's turn our page all right students the next key we all have seen this key we all have used this key multiple times right we use this key as a command key as well so let us read enter key a keyboard has two enter keys the enter key or return key is used to move the cursor to the next line this is useful in case you need to start writing on a new line or a new paragraph okay so the keyboard has how many enter keys two enter keys the enter key is also known as the return key with the help of enter key we can bring the cursor cursor to the next line this becomes very useful when you are writing a new line or a new paragraph apart from bringing the cursor to the next line students enter key also helps us to execute a command hence it is also known as a command key down below is an example which is in figure 3.2 the enter key is used to type part of the sentence on a new line once the first line of the text is entered the enter key is pressed this takes the cursor to the next line where you can continue typing as you can see in the picture students take a closer look on the picture here it says the arrow will show you enter key pressed here and the cursor moves to the next line right it's one sentence environmental pollution specifically the one facilitated by the humans is one of great concern for many so after specifically the one we pressed the enter key and the cursor came down to the next line let's see what is written in the note you can also press the enter key to submit a command or activate a button right like i told you all the enter key is not only used to bring the cursor to the next line but it also helps to execute a command hence it is also known as a command key let's read or let's understand the backspace key the backspace key on the keyboard acts as an eraser when pressed it moves the character to the left side of the cursor 
right as the name indicates backspace so this key with the help of this key the cursor erases the spaces that we have entered or the characters or the letters that is typed on the computer screen this is the important line guys when pressed it removes the character to the left side of the cursor so remember backspace will erase the characters to the left side of the cursor your example observe the position of the cursor in figure 3.3 See in this example the cursor is between the word environmental and pollution it's next to l if you see in the picture 3.3 position of the cursor pressing the backspace key allows you to remove the characters to the left of the cursor if you see in the example figure 3.4 after pressing the backspace key twice we were able to erase two letters identify them correct a and l so environmental pollution became environment pollution so as we pressed the backspace key two times it deleted the characters to the left of the cursor so backspace key will erase the characters to the left side of the cursor let us turn our page to see which is the next key delete key now we all must be wondering students we already have a backspace key which is an eraser which acts like an eraser so now what is delete key let's read The delete key acts similar to the backspace key however unlike the backspace key it removes a character to the right side of the cursor so here is the difference between the backspace key and the delete key students the delete key it is similar to the backspace however the difference is it removes the character to the right side of the cursor So always remember backspace will delete the characters to the left of the cursor the delete key will erase the characters to the right side of the cursor you can see in the example below the same words environmental pollution see the position of the cursor it's next to p and we pressed the backspace key three times and it deleted the characters p o l which were in the which were towards the right side of the cursor so these are the special keys so far we learned about backspace enter key space bar key and delete key let's proceed further to see what a caps lock key is caps lock key By default any letter you type using an alphabet key is displayed in lower case the caps lock key allows you to enter letters only in upper case once switched on the caps lock key ensures that every letter typed appears in capital letters when the caps lock key is on a light gets turned on on the top right corner of the keyboard for example when you type with the caps lock key switched on all the letters appear in upper case so the caps lock key helps us to type the letters in upper case upper case means capital letters so by default right when the windows when you start typing all the letters appear in lower case or in small letters as soon as you press the caps lock key all the letters which we you will start typing will be in upper case in capital letters how do we identify whether a caps lock key is on or no 
you must have seen this or i have shown you in your practical lab practical session students on the keyboard towards the top right corner there are few lights the num lock the caps lock and the scroll lock so the center light where you see the letter a is the caps lock key here in this picture you see towards the top right there is status light the center indicator is for the caps lock now in the example again figure 3.7 and figure 3.8 shows you the difference of the caps lock key switched on and the caps lock key switched off so this is how with the help of caps lock key a user can do a combination of upper case and lower case while typing text or any document let's turn our page to see what are the other special keys page number 20 let's see other special keys the following are some the following are other important special keys number 1 control key there are two control keys on the keyboard they are labeled as ctrl when used along with other keys it carries out special functions the control key is used to create unique combinations of keys to submit special instructions control key also identified or notified as ctrl you see towards your right you have the picture like one best example that we can share out here is to copy a text or to paste cut copy or paste so if you want to copy a text we select the text and we press control c So as it says, they are labeled as CTRL. When used along with other keys, it carries out special functions. Now we know letter C. If you press letter C, it will type the character or the letter C. But when you press the combination of Control C, it will help you to copy the highlighted text. Similarly, if you want to paste a particular text, you can paste that using the combination of control key and letter right letter v control v is the shortcut to paste a particular text so this is how control keys are used with the help of these keys we can carry out special functions the next set of keys are alt key the alt alt the alt or alternate key is very similar to the control key it acts as a modifier key that activates special functions assigned to the key it is used in combination with other keys again the alt key which is next to the space bar key towards the right and left of the space bar key the alt key again cannot be used as a single key it needs a combination key and when we use this set of combination keys students it activates special functions let's say for example if you want to close a particular application then you can prefer to use the mouse by clicking the cross mark the close button or you can also use the keyboard and the combination of alt key and the function 4 alt plus f4 key will help you to close the particular application is the shortcut to close the application we will learn all this during our practical sessions as we have hands on practice 
so we will be able to relate these terms and combination keys we have already done this or practiced during our last practical sessions however we can still do a refresher or as in when we have hands on practice it will be easier for us to relate to what we are learning okay the next set of key is the shift key again there are two shift keys on a keyboard if pressed along with another key the shift key activates the alternate functions of that key for example when caps lock key is switched off and the shift key is pressed along with alphabet keys all the letters gets all the letters get typed in upper case in case the caps lock key is switched on pressing the shift key along with alphabet keys make all the letters appear in lower case self explanatory students shift key is also one of the special key which pressed or used with alternate keys performs a different set of function altogether the example given here is of the caps lock now let's say for example you are writing myself now in myself you have to type few things few names or few words in capital letters and rest and small letters like your name when you type your name you always write the first letter capital followed by all the other letters in lower case most of the time unless and until you are asked to write all the letters in capital so in order to now if you are making use of caps lock you will have to continuously or time and again press the caps lock key on and off whenever you need a specific letter in upper case or in lower case so to save on that time shift key helps us here if you use the combination of shift and press a particular letter depending upon the status of caps lock the letter will be in the opposite case for example if the caps lock key is off all the letters will be typed in lower case however if you press the shift key and then continuously press the shift key and type try to enter any text all the letters will automatically gets converted into capital similarly let's say if the caps lock key is on and if you want to write in lower case you can use shift you can press the shift key and press the letter that's that particular letter will be in lower case the next set of key is the tab key the tab key is present on the left side of keyboard the tab key moves the cursor to the right by a set number of spaces for example the following image the following images show displacement of text as you press the tab key each time the key is pressed the cursor moves to the right by a defined number of spaces so the tab key helps us to moves the cursor to the right by a set number of spaces this we can try to relate as a frog students understand in this way you all have seen a frog when a frog jumps you see the distance that it covers right similarly i hope you can relate this similarly the space bar key helps us to enter space at once it will give you single space between two characters now if you want space of longer distance like multiple like if you need a set number of spaces then rather than continuously pressing the space bar key we can press the tab key which is predefined to move the cursor by a set number of spaces like a frog it jumps rather than moving or taking one step it jumps directly to a set number of spaces 
if you see the image or in the example take a look where is environmental pollution written in figure number one and where is uh, how far it has moved by pressing the tab key just once let's read the example the following image shows the following images show displacement of text as you press the tab key. Each time the key is pressed, the cursor moves to the right by a defined number of spaces. Now the only difference here is the frog can jump in any direction it wants, but the tab key will only move to the right. Right. The tab key will move to the right by a defined number of spaces. However, the similarity is it moves a distance as a frog does in one jump it covers a lot of space similarly the tab key covers multiple spaces or a set number of spaces in one press let us turn our page page number 21 now let's see what are these set of keys or what are the next set of keys here it says function key there are 12 different function keys available on the keyboard F1 to F12 these are visible at the top of the keyboard function keys act as a shortcut to give commands to a computer All right. So here we are looking at the different types of function keys F1, F2, F3 as you can see in the picture below the function key is highlighted in red from F1 till F12 as the name indicates function so definitely students these keys have a set of functions available in their keys. Now these keys act as shortcut. Now in your syllabus or in this chapter you don't have the details about what those shortcut keys are. However, just for your knowledge or for your information, I'll share few examples of few function keys and its uses. Right? F1. If you press the F1 key students, it helps us to display help screen. Like if you press help F1 it will give you the help screen and you can seek for any help in the windows. Now if you press function 2 let's recollect. function 2 will help you to highlight it highlights a file or a folder for renaming like if you want to rename a file or you want to type a different name then with the help of F2 if you press the function 2 key it directly highlights the particular space where you can edit the name F4 uh, F3 helps you to do the search tool like it opens search tool now don't get confused between the help menu and search tool help is for assistance in the windows system and search is for you to search something or search for a specific file folder or any document that you may be looking for f5 yes f5 the common key that we use is to refresh f5 helps us to refresh the screen and the most commonly used is again f11 f11 helps us to do full screen or exit the full screen function 11 so these are a few examples as in when a syllabus increases or as in when we move higher standards we may have detail about this function keys these are also known as the top row keys Take a look at the picture, the function keys, so these are few 
Now these were the few special keys which we saw. Right? The control key, alt key, shift key, tab key and function key. These all keys work in combination. These keys are not independent. These keys help or we use this key in combination of other keys to perform other set of functions except for the tab key. Tab key performs or it's a special key which performs individually or independently. The next set of keys that we are lo looking at is using the navigation keys. The navigation as it indicates navigation means to move from one direction to the other direction. It can be right, left, up, down, right? Four directions like east, west, north, south. These are the navigate navigation directions. So same way we also have navigation keys on the keyboard. Let's see what are those. The following keys are primarily used to move the cursor as displayed on the monitor. The navigation keys are nothing but these are the keys which is used to move the cursor displayed on the monitor. So the first set of keys are arrow keys. Arrow keys are also known as cursor control keys or direction keys. These are used to move the cursor in any of the four directions. When pressed once, an arrow key moves the cursor one position towards left, right, upwards or downwards. So arrow keys are used to move the or arrow keys are also known as the cursor control keys or direction keys. As you press either towards the right, left, up, down, accordingly the cursor will move its direction or change its place. If you press it once, the cursor will take one position. If you press and hold it, the cursor will continuously keep on moving in either of the direction, right? Towards left, right, upwards or downwards. The next we have here is home and end keys. What are these keys? The home key allows you to move the cursor to the beginning of the line. In contrast, the end key moves the cursor to the end of the line. Example, the following image shows a cursor placed in the middle of a line. Okay, so what does the home key and end keys are useful for? It helps us to move the cursor directly to the end of a line or the start of the line, the beginning of a line. The home key will take you to the beginning of the line and the end key will move the cursor to the end of the line. The image below shows you home and end keys, how they look and it's giving you the initial position of cursor. It is between pollution and specifically right next to S. Let's turn our page to see. So by pressing the home key, pressing the home key shift the cursor to the start of the line as shown in figure 3.12. So if you see the students, the cursor which was initially next to S in specifically has after pressing the home key has moved to the beginning of the line right next to E. And on the same ground if you press the end key it takes you to the end of the line. Remember it is taking to the end of the line not end of the sentence or at the end of the page. It takes you to the end of the line. See in figure 3.13. The cursor has moved to the end of the line which is after the. The 
the next set of keys are page up and page down keys what are they doing the page up key allows you to quickly up a page by multiple lines similarly the page down key helps you to scroll down a page by multiple lines right. so the tab key was moving the cursor to the set number of spaces in the right direction now page up and page down also does the same function only the direction changes page up will move the cursor few lines in upwards direction and page down will move the cursor downwards direction like it moves multiple lines so rather than you keep on continuously pressing the down arrow key if you press page down the cursor directly jumps multiple lines and comes down directly similarly page up if you press or you want to skip few lines then you can directly press page up and the cursor will skip multiple lines and it will directly move in the upward direction so in this chapter students what we learned about is the different type of keys on a keyboard which includes escape key function key number keys backspace key caps lock key space bar alphabet keys arrow keys numeric keypad right various set of keys then page up page down all set of keys that we learned now we have already seen this in our practical lab we are just trying to relate or understand the terms used for those set of keys or what are those functions now if you look down students we have a exercise what does it say which of the following key is used to remove a typed character come on students try which key is used to remove the type character great we all must have guessed it right it's the second number the backspace the backspace key is used to erase a type character i'm sure we remember the difference between the backspace and the delete key right backspace will delete the characters to the left delete key will erase the characters to the right right so i request the students to kindly mark number 2 or tick mark on number 2 so with this we complete our third chapter with regards to the notes students i want you all to pay attention going forward this is how your exercise page will look like i will send you the answers you have to write the answers in the spaces or in the blank spaces this is just an example i am showing this in the video so that going forward for the remaining chapters you complete your notes accordingly